Good day, students. It's been a long time. Welcome back to our science class. First of all, I would like to congratulate everyone because we are now halfway completing grade 9 science. We are now in quarter 3, which is about earth science. Good job, class, for making it here. We are now in the new topic of third quarter. Week 5 lesson is all about the different factors affecting the climate. Check out our learning objective. Explain how different factors affect the climate of an area. So what are you waiting for? Prepare your ears, jot down notes, and most importantly, keep on watching. Perfect. When you plan to go a picnic or go to a beach, what are the things you are going to consider? Most probably, you will consider the time, place, and of course, the weather. Weather affects your day-to-day -day activities. As we continue our lesson, let us differentiate weather from climate. Can you guess these four peaks one word? That is right, this is weather. When we say weather, it is the condition of an atmosphere at a specific place and time. What you see outside is the weather condition. For example, you wake up in the morning and you see the rays of the sunlight that lit your room. Therefore, your weather for that time is a beautiful sunny day. In addition, may change from time to time or day by day. Let us discuss first the different factors affecting the weather. The first one is temperature. It is the degrees of hotness or coldness of a place. Temperature is affected by a solar radiation reaching the Earth's surface. We can measure the temperature of a certain place by using a thermometer. Second is wind. It is the movement of air in the atmosphere. We measure it with wind vane that tells the direction of the wind and a anemometer that measures the wind speed. Next, we have air pressure. It is the force caused by the weight of air in the Earth's surface. Even tiny air molecules have some weight and the huge number of air molecules that make up the layers of our atmosphere collectively have a great deal of weight. To put it simply, it is the force exerted by the air. And we can measure it by using a barometer and millibars. Perfect. Next factor that may affect the weather is humidity. It is the amount of water vapor in the air. If there is a lot of water vapor in the air, the humidity will be high. The higher the humidity is, the wetter it feels outside. It can be measured by a hygrometer. Lastly, we have precipitation. It is the water falling from the atmosphere in the forms of rain, snow, or hail. Forms of precipitation depends on the temperature of the place where it falls. It can be measured using a rain gauge. And those are the factors that may affect the weather condition of a certain place. We have the temperature, wind, air, or air pressure, 
humidity, and precipitation. Let's move on to our next topic. Can you guess these four peaks one word? That is right. This is climate. Now let us proceed to climate. It is the general pattern of weather in a certain area over a long period of time. To tell the climate of a certain area, scientists study its precipitation and temperature for a period of 30 years. That is why climate is the average condition of the place for a long period of time. Like weather, Climate has several factors that may affect. The first factor that may affect the climate is what we call latitude. Latitude is the distance in terms of degrees to the north and south from the equator. It is the imaginary line that is parallel to the equator. Latitude determines the variety of climatic zones on Earth. Our planet Earth is divided into three major climatic zones namely Tropical, Temperate, and Polar Zone. Tropical regions are low latitudes. Low latitudes are located near the equator. Temperate regions are the middle latitude and polar zones or polar regions are the high latitudes. You have noticed that they are not equal because Earth axis is tilted in 23.5 degrees. Sun's rays strike vertically in the places near the equator or in tropical regions. This makes the temperature higher in these areas and Philippines is near in the equator. That is why we are tropical country. Areas in temperate regions have four different seasons while the polar regions have low temperatures resulting to a cold climate. Take note of this class. Places that are near the equator have high temperature. Places that are far from the equator have low temperature or we can say as the latitude increases, temperature decreases. Let's proceed to the second one. And that is altitude. Why is it that during summer, many people visit Baguio City? Obviously, the reason is the cold climate there. Do you think the altitude of the place might affect the climate? The answer is yes. Altitude is the height above sea level. The air temperature decreases as the altitude increases. Places with higher elevations have cold climate just like Baguio City. For every 1000 meter, there is drop of 6.5 degree Celsius. The decreasing air temperature is due to the decrease in air pressure. Another example is Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. Africa is a place near the equator. Therefore, we expect a high temperature. However, how is it possible that the peak of this mountain is covered by ice? That is, that is because of altitude. The mountain stands 595 meters above sea level. 
again class, the higher the place is, the colder the temperature or temperature decreases as the altitude increases. Third factor is bodies of water. The climate of the place is influenced by the surrounding bodies of water. Let's have an example. Look at the picture. The picture shows the British Isles and the part of Russia near Moscow. Being in the temperate region, both places have four seasons. Even though both places are the same latitude, the northern tip of British Isles has a more moderate climate due to the neighboring bodies of water. The British Isles experience maximum temperature of 17 degrees Celsius and an average minimum temperature of 0 degrees Celsius. Moscow, on the other hand, has an average maximum temperature of 21 degrees Celsius and very cold winter with an average of negative 8 degrees Celsius. Land heats and cools faster than the sea. Coastal areas have lower temperatures than inland areas. So take note class, places that are far from the bodies of water have extreme climates. As there are no immediate bodies of water that will help to circulate the movement of cold air and warm air. Next is topography. It is another factor that affects the climate and one of topographic features of an area is called mountain. Let us take a look in this picture. Moist wind coming from the sea flow up the mountain because temperature decreases as the altitude increases. Water vapor eventually condenses and there is precipitation. Since this side of mountain facing the wind is called the windward side. The wind often loses its moisture content by the time it reaches the peak and thus flowing down on the other side called leeward side. Air starts to absorb heat and becomes warm and dry. As a result, the area near the leeward side becomes dry and has less precipitation. The dry region in the leeward side is called rain shadow. Vegetation in this region includes de desert plants and grassland. And lastly, we have ocean currents. Ocean currents have also important role in changing the climate of a certain area. Warm currents from the equator towards poles carrying warm water. On the other hand, cold currents travel from the poles towards the equator carrying cold water. When ocean current carries cold water, the air above it becomes colder. When this ocean current moves coastal region, the temperature of that area becomes lower. On the other hand, ocean current that carries warm water makes the air warmer. When this current 
goes toward a landmass, the temperature of that place becomes higher. To sum it up, ocean currents that bring along cold water to inland make the climate cold. On the other hand, ocean currents that take along warm water to coastal areas make the climate warm. Again class, the five factors affecting the climate are latitude, altitude, bodies of water, topography, and ocean current. And that ends our lesson for this week.